creating and adding students to your class. As you can see, I signed into my web work course and all of my students are going to be over here in the class list. So I'm going to click on class list editor. You should see that all of your students are already loaded in, but you know, because of add drop, sometimes students add your class after your web work course has already been created and so we need to be able to add them manually. Click on the add tab and it says how many students do you want to add? We can just do one, you can do several at a time, but when you click take action you now see several fields that need to be entered. Really the only ones we're going to focus on is the name, the student ID, their login, and their email address. So last name, let's say that this is a student and their first name, this is a fake student. So student ID, uh, we're going to use the student's EMPL ID, which should be an eight digit number. You can get this off of CUNY first. Their login name, I like to make this the student's first initial, followed by uh, maybe six or seven letters of their last name. If they have a particularly long last name, let's save them the hassle of having to type it all in in its entirety. And their email address, uh, that's probably fake student at mail citytech.cuny.edu. And after this, this is all we really need. Uh, we can go ahead and add the student now. Or if you've already assigned problem sets, you can make sure that this student starts out with a set of problem sets already assigned to them so that they're up to date with everyone else in the class. So let's say I've already assigned the introduction to limits and the one-sided limits, um, the limit properties also. Okay, now when I click Add Students, um, we can see Entered Student. Uh, there we go. And if I click over back to the class list editor, my fake student, here he is, fake student, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They've had three problem sets already assigned to them. Now, if I have students that have dropped my class, uh, you have two options. You can delete them using the delete tab. Um, this is permanent and gets rid of all their data. Instead, I might suggest if a student drops your class to instead click the pencil next to their name and you can change their status to drop instead. If you do this, then the student will no longer be assigned problem sets. They won't show up when you download student scores. Uh, I believe they'll be blocked from receiving emails if you send emails to the class, um, but it also then preserves their data, which we appreciate.